how would you characterize your your excitement level to start this season you know compared to years past you know i'm always excited but it's always kind of for a different reason like you know my rookie year my first nfl season last year i was looking forward to to building and this year i feel like it's different because now i have you know that injury last year kept me off the field so it's really been a long time so really it's just a ton of excitement, a ton of anticipation. It's been a long time coming, and I know my bicep's good, so it's just I, get, I can apply what I've learned over the last couple of years and uh, see how see how good I can do. I'm excited. You talk about the bicep being good. You, obviously, there's that video of you lifting on your pro day that, that went viral, front squatting 450 pounds. So as a guy that you know loves being in the gym and, and, and putting up huge weights, how tough was it for you to stay patient and, and not push yourself too hard during rehab? Uh, it, was, it was tough, but I think what helped me a lot was just knowing you know, I had, I had the doctor's word. I was working with our team trainers, and I just knew that I had a chance to come back. Uh, towards the end of last season, it didn't end up happening, but that kind of kind of kept me trusting the process and making sure I took my time because I was going to have time to do it right. And you know, now since then, I've had even more time, so it really isn't doesn't bother me at all anymore. Is that how it is in the Chargers weight room, like it was at Northwestern, with with the entire team surrounding you and, and pumping you up? <laughs> no, it's not quite like that anymore. Um, Definitely miss those days, but now it's all about just just trying to be smart, train smart. That probably wasn't the best thing for me to be doing back then, but <laughs> it was a fun time for sure. <laughs> Do you still get people coming up to you uh, about that video? Yeah, all the time. Every few months I'll get tagged in it, and it, it'll kind of like go viral again. It's kind of funny. So obviously have, having last year when, when you couldn't play – um, a, a tough situation. What did you learn most about yourself during that during that time? I think I just learned a lot about the game and kind of what it demands and how easily it can be taken away. Um, so, I mean, it just gave me a lot of time to reflect and like think about my future, my goals as far as my career goes, and um, definitely motivated me to never take anything for granted, especially my health. Um, but I'd say that's the biggest thing. And, and what are those goals? Uh, just to become the best player I can possibly be and to make sure I'm never, ever, uh, you know, falling short of my expectations or of my preparation, just making sure I can maximize whatever, whatever gifts I have. Uh, I, I'm curious, on your Instagram, the bio says, begin with the end in mind. What, what does that mean to you, Rashawn? That's a quote I heard from uh, Kurt Anderson, my old line coach at Northwestern. And to me, that's just about having a vision. You know, I feel like any time any time in life there's something I want to achieve, it always starts with a vision. And if I can find out what where I want to be one day, I can kind of align my, my routines and my systems with that. And I just found that's really helped me out to constantly be thinking about where I want to be and just try to align my everyday with that vision. So, Rashawn, as you begin this season – what is your vision? What do you have in mind for the end? Uh, my vision is just, you know, it's it's a finished product of of taking every day one step at a time and just giving my absolute all every day to my team, my teammates, and my craft. So I'm excited to see where that can lead with us as a team. I think we have all the pieces in place, and I think some really special things can happen this year. We just got to make sure that every day we're giving it, you know, the – get the full benefit of every day. Uh, I said earlier in the show what Novak Djokovic told me, energy flows where attention goes. I feel like that's kind of along the same path of, of what you're doing in terms of, you know, having a vision for what you want when you start something and finishing it. Do you, do you get a sense of, of a heightened excitement this year with the Chargers, knowing that everyone's back healthy and, and the potential for this team? Yeah, it definitely feels that way. Um, you know, we've never... We always we always believe in ourselves, but especially after last year, some of the losses we had uh, to players, to injury, and whatnot. Like I really feel like there definitely is that energy with the team this year. So I think we're all very motivated to to make the most of it. How, how tough was it for you to be on the sideline during you know that that last game and and not be able to to help your guys? You know, kind, kind of finish that off. It was very tough. Um, Throughout the season, it was it was never easy being out 
just because that was my first time being hurt, so I never had that kind of experience before. But like I said earlier, it taught me a lot, um, taught me how to seek ways to prepare, to recover, to do everything I can to minimize injury, and I think it only made me hungrier. So Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 